Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I have not talked about this stuff, but I have a video coming out about it. I have been taking um, a medication called Dupixent. This is now gonna be my third time doing a self-home injection. And I'm just trying to put other people at ease who are doing this because when I first got to prescribe this, I was freaking out, having to do a shot at home, thinking it's gonna be the worst thing in the world. And what did I do? I went on YouTube and I watched other people doing shots and guess what, they freaked out. And then it freaked me out. Um, you can choose to get a syringe or the self-injected pen. I choose the pens. I had gestational diabetes when I was pregnant with my son, so I'm used to giving myself a shot. Rosa, shh, quiet please, thank you. Um, so anyways, you get the pre-filled pens and you are either allowed to do them in your thighs, your stomach, or your arms. I choose to do them in my stomach. I had three C-sections, so I still don't feel everything there exactly. Um, and again, this is my third time doing this, so I'm just kind of walking you through it. <laughs> So you guys maybe don't have to deal with like the mental anxiety that I deal with still. Don't mind the stretch marks. Lily, get out of here. It's my daughter who's trying to bump in here. So anyways, they will end up giving you a box full of these alcohol pre-pad swipes or you can just use your own, whatever. I'm not sure how each pharmacy company works, but you just wanna make sure that you get an area completely cleaned off. Do not blow on it, let it air dry. And once it air dries, then it's not you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Once you take the top, Rosa, please be quiet, sweetheart. Once you take the top off the pen, you're not supposed to put it back on or reuse it again. So just keep that in mind because I had a hard time with this the first time I tried doing this. Rosalina, out of here. All right, so it's pretty much dry. I would suggest waiting for sure until it dries because then you're not going to deal with any stinging or burning that could happen from the needle itself. I like these ones because you don't see the size of the needle on the self syringes, you do. So, anyways. You would take it off. This is what it looks like. You have to hold it. This is why it bothered me at first. You have to literally hold it in place for the whole clicking period. So it'll make a clicking sound at first, and then you have to wait until it makes that second clicking sound, and you see this vial is all the way gone. So I'm not going to freak out this time like I have usually. I'm just going to get it done with. So you're going to hold it against your skin like this. You're going to push one, two, three. One two, three, pull it out. You barely, usually I don't bleed. This time there's a little blood there. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna put a bandaid on it and now I'm done for two weeks. It doesn't feel great. It's not the worst kind of pain I've ever experienced. And it's really not as bad as everyone makes it look like on YouTube. So if you're starting this out, don't worry about it, you'll be fine.